Hi all. Just doing a quick uh, experiment uh, today um, to figure out uh, if the oil pressure sensor on the actual engine uh, is correct. I've got a couple of them. I know that uh, if you have an alpha, you'll know that these things are just absolutely notorious for quitting. Um, so I rigged up this little quick test thing to, to make sure that it's actually correct. So I have an old instrument cluster uh, just in a bin upstairs. I have just a variable regulator, um, which you can, can't really read the gauge. I've got just a, and then it goes into a brass T with a calibrated gauge, um, and then the sensor, and then it's all just kind of wired up half-assly with a little just plug-in transformer, 12 volt, 12 and a half volt transformer. Easy, right? So what we'll do is just start pushing it up. Right now the gauge is basically just pretty much at zero so what we'll do is we'll start increasing it until maybe it's reading two two bar all right there's two bar there all right what are we reading on our gauge oh not too bad a little higher. Let's go to four bar. Oh, go too far. All right, that's kind of four bar. Hey, okay, that's not bad. Let's go up to six. Your engine is really pushing the pressure at this point. Alright. Six bar. Wow. That's surprising. I did not expect uh, one of these old sensors to actually be even remotely accurate. Um, let's just go higher. I don't want to peg that gauge, it'll probably ruin it, but let's just go to six and a half. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, if the engine's making more than, what is that, uh, 95 PSI of oil pressure, um, you got a issue anyway. So that's not actually too bad. Bring it back down. Let's bring it back down to three bar and see if it kind of like goes to where it's supposed to.